like a class that they would call. And every This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. So a, 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 a plan, like a house plan, would be like a class, and an object would be the object, the thing that you make from that plan. And so let's say you're doing a housing development, you would have the original plans that you were making for it. This is a demonstration of Ustream And then producer. you would have the different houses that they call instances would get created that you actually build them. And they're real houses it's so that you don't do one of the sitcom things of walking into the wrong house at night. You know, they'll do them different colors. They might have a door that's slightly different. And those would be different properties about the, about the house. They're just things that are a little bit different, but each one has a door, each one has windows. They might have a property that says, how many windows do they have? How many doors do they have? How many doors do they have? This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. So the other thing, another way to think of it is, um, let's imagine your phone. The, the blueprints, or whatever you want to call the plans to build the phone, would be a class. And an object would be the actual phone that you have. And some of you might have a nice little flip phone, and that'll be able to, you know, make calls. Um, or you can imagine a little rotary phone, you know, could make calls. But then you could actually get one of those flip this phones demonstration that can make of calls that are to testing. And then you could do a smartphone. They can do all of those and can get onto the internet and everything. And rather than having to, to um, describe the, the smartphone from scratch, what they would do is they would take the plans for the basic phone and extend it in order to get one of those little flip phones. And then they might extend that again to make um, plans for a smartphone where you already have the little Stream basic producer. things that they could do already, but then you can just extend it and add on the additional properties that you can do. The other thing to note for phones is besides having a property as to what size it is, it has this ability to do different things. And the things that it does are um, called methods or functions. And, and something that the phone might be able to do is to place a call, or it would be able to um, you know, accept a text message, or be able to write a text message. And this is a so demonstration of you in the class, producer. you would be defining what the properties are. So those are just values about the item. And then you have functions or um, functions or methods that would be the things that it would be able to do. And so when we're using object-oriented programming, we're able to define these things in one place. And that comes to the next thing, which is the platform with the libraries. Um, if you go to library slash Joomla, that has all of these classes that define all kinds producer. of properties and methods that you can do things so that when you go to write something, you're not going to be writing it in your code. You're just going to be accessing what you have there by using these classes where you extend a class that is already in the library. Okay? It's, it's going into a little more advanced programming, but it's sort of important to understand so that there's all this black box magic happening <laughs> so that you know kind of where that is. You don't have to know all the details, but that's sort of what's happening. The other thing that this I want to mention is that here is, is the Ustream MVC. Producer. Now, how many of you are um, familiar with doing, you know, like static things, like HTML and CSS and maybe a little JavaScript? Okay. And you know, possibly depending on how long you've been doing this, that once upon a time we had all these tables that we used for layout and we put the, the font color equals red and all of that right within the HTML. And then we discovered that, oh, you know, we could move it over and put it in the CSS. Then when we change our mind, we only have to, we only have to change it this one is a place. Demonstration of Ustream so Producer. That's where you're separating the the, um, the content from the presentation. You know, your content's the HTML, and your presentation is the CSS. So, and then you get JavaScript in there. We did the same thing with it. We put it right 
in the HTML. And now they're starting to separate that out. So you've got the behaviors separate from the content and the presentation. And that's the same with this thing that's called MVC, which is model, view, and controller. And you can think of it as controller is the thing of Ustream um, that decides where and what you're going to do stuff. And the model is where you're getting your data from. It's going to be interacting with your database if you have something. And the view is going to be your um, presentation to the user, your interface with the user. So if you've gone in there and you've done these template overrides, you can do that because we've separated it out and we put the view in one place and all you have to do is replace that. That if we had one great big long program with all this, everything happening at once, it would this be much more difficult for you to go in there and do that overlap. Now the modules are sort of a mini version of this. They don't do too much with it, but you'll see we have three different places that kind of act as something that controls what's going on, another place where we're getting our data, and a third that we're actually going to display it with the view. There's also with Joomla, um, it, it, we do programming by convention um, in the sense that we expect you to name things certain things, and because you name them that way, we can automatically stream do that. producer. So a few times I'll be going in and I'll say, okay, and we name it this way and that way. And by doing it that way, the Joomla programs know how to um, interact with it. Oh, did I hit an answer? Oh, I went backwards. Got it. Okay. Do you want us to download those as well? You don't need to. I'm going to be showing you all the code on the screen. Um, that was the original one that I showed you to download if you want to, and you want to follow along. You with think we'll be able to write it? Well, of is it a lot of producer. code, or is it better if we download it? You probably would want to download it. You won't have time to type it all yeah, in while I'm talking. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Did you get that, or did you want to see that again? Yeah, real quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, on, it's on GitHub slash Andrea Tarr, and then when you... Um, to get in, well actually if you put the whole thing, it'll come right to it and it's downloads listed and you can just click the download. And it'll be just two zip files, this one is a hello world, of and a classic. Producer. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the second one is one where we're going to be um, doing a little contact listing where we can list branches. Okay, did everybody get that URL? Going? No, this is just, I just threw it up there for some place to grab it, so. Okay, um, most of you have probably seen this before. This is this, the regular file structure that you have this for Joomla. You've got the administrator who's got producer. the whole back end. Um, we're not really gonna be working with that with the modules. We're just gonna be working uh, mostly with the front end. You'll see things, you'll see the modules in the back end. But we don't actually have to program anything in the back end because that's part of all that magic stuff that happens by our defining it. Um, but as you go down, you'll see the components are in their own section. And then you've got the modules are in their own section. And you've got the plugins. If anybody went to um, Mark's plugin a demonstration of talk earlier today, producer. You know, that's, where, that's where he was in. And I'm sure most of you know that the, what the modules are, they're sort of the little sidebar content. They're, they're just little tiny widgets that, that stand on their own. You don't normally have you know, new data that's associated with it that you have to actually create, but you often will be using data that already exists. Some of the common ones are um, you know, like displaying the um, uh, the, the latest articles of Ustream that have happened, producer. The, 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 the most popular articles. They're going off to a database that already exists and just using this to display it in a different manner. Okay. So, our little hello world. What we're going to be doing is creating this little module down here. It's going to be two things. One is if. Is this still working? Yeah. Um, if. <laughs> If um, you're not signed in, it's just going to go hello world. You can do hello this guest. This is a demonstration hello world of Ustream is, producer. So and if you have signed in, then it's going to actually say your name. Okay? Very simple. Um, in the back end, when you create the module, this is what it will actually look like. 
you know, it'll have the place for you to do the to do the title and where you're going to place it. And then it has these advanced options over here that you'll find in most modules. You may use this in order to put in your your suffix that you need to to this change the demonstration CSS of modules. Ustream producer. Okay. So the actual file structure that is used for uh, a module is, and here we get to the good stuff, okay. So you're in this module folder that I pointed out earlier. And this is called mod underscore hello world. And you want to always create it with mod underscore something. And the something that you have, you really want that to be unique across the entire universe. This is a demonstration so in actuality, of Ustream you producer. That and you were going to be having it go public or something, you'd want to put something in the beginning to identify it as yours so it wouldn't bump into, you know, Joe from next door writing his little 1700th Twitter um, <laughs> module or something. So, um, so you call it that, and then you are going to have a couple of files. We're going to have the helper.php, and this is producer. the module piece of that MVC. This is really what's going to get your data, however you're going to get your data. You're going to have an index.html. There's nothing in this, really. That's just a placeholder file so that people can't, um, a security feature, so people can't get in and see your directory. You're going to have your mod underscore hello world.php. And this is what you're going to want to call it. It's going to be the name that you had as your module with a .php at the end. This is a demonstration and helper, of Ustream producer. And this helper, by the way, producer. is called the helper. So you can do some other thing. You're going to have a mod hello world dot X, um, XML file as well. And this is your main sort of package file. This one describes your module. It tells Joomla what you've got in it, what it's trying to do, and it holds some of those parameters in it. And then you're going to have a folder called TMPL, which is your template folder. And here's where you have Ustream your producer. HTML information. And default.php is, is normally the, what you would call it. You can call it other things, but default.php is what the automatic assumption is that it's going to be called. And that's your HTML that's going to the browser. And again, since that's another folder, you've got another one of those index.html files that's got nothing in it. So we're going to start with the um, mod underscore hello world dot XML file. This is, this is the file. And if you've ever tried producer. to install something and said, I'm sorry, we can't find a manifest file, we can't find your thing, this is what they're looking for. All right. So what we've got here. Um, the first part is just an XML statement that, that says what, we're, what we've got, what we're doing. Then the entire thing that we're about to do is going to be enclosed in an extension tag. And this tells us that this is a module as opposed to a component or a plugin or a library. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. It's what version producer. it's going to be good for. This one's good for 1.7. Um, so if you had it as a 1.5, you'd want to put a 1.5 in there. And then the client in there is either going to be for the site, which is the front end, or maybe an admin one, which is going to be for the back end, if you had a module that was going to be displayed on the back end. And then method upgrade. Putting the method upgrade in there um, is good because if you have to reinstall this at some point, this is a demonstration it'll know that it can just Ustream change what's producer. there. It's, it's not going to go and, if you didn't have that, um, and you were doing it as a regular install, it would think it's a new install and it would look, go in and it would say, oh, you've already got Hello World, I can't create another one because you're bumping into somebody else. So you wanted as a method upgrade so that you can redo it. Then what you do is you have a series of information and this is pretty much, um, you want to use these particular tags, you don't necessarily have to have them all, this but this gives the basic of information that if you were in the back end, you'd see it. Um, with the name of it, who, who did it, your copyright information, your license. You can put in your email URL. Like I said, this part is, is optional. You can keep track yourself for this version. 
so that you know which one it is if you make fixes, you know, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. Um, and then a description as to what it is. And you'll see where this thing comes, comes up. Um, then what you do is you this have a is list of what the files are. Of Ustream system. producer. And you're going to have your file name for each of the ones that are at the root level. And then you can just put your folder for what's in the TMP because it'll just bring that entire folder over and you don't have to mention what each of those files is. That's very like if you've done um, template, if you've created custom templates, this, this is going to be very familiar to you. Oh, did I say that twice? Oh, look at that. Um, and then at the bottom this part of it, after you've listed your file, you you're going to have the config part. And this is new for 1.7. They used parameters before that. And what the config does is it does that left side in the back end where um, here, what this is showing is these are the alternate layouts that you're able to put in. Um, but a couple of the others that you may not be able to read there uh, are showing that suffix that you can add on your module or the caching. These are all of those little fields that show there. And in this particular producer. case, these are the standard ones in, in the file. So you can just grab these and copy these. There's nothing special in here for the mod um, Hello World at all. These are just the standard. These are the ones that are going under the advanced. To see that this field set says that this is the advanced one, okay? And this field is just described where it's got the name of it, which is where if you're referring to this in your program, that's what you're going to be, be looking for this and using. demonstration of the Ustream type that producer. It is, this happens to be a module layout type, and then it's got labels and descriptions, um, which are doing the labels for when you see it there in the back end, and then the description is that little tool tip that comes up if you put your cursor over it. So if you look at um, these, some of the different types, you've got text, list, where it's got the different options you can have for the, the um, you know, if you guess and no kinds of things. This is a demonstration of the Ustream producer. This one happens to be a hidden one, that it's not actually going to display up there but it's got what's, it's passing in the item ID, so it's something that it can hang on to and it knows later on you'll be able to have it. And then you just finish that file off by closing all your tags. Okay, so that's the, the little package that you have to start with. Then you go into the mod hello world.php. This is the piece that we call the sort of this controller part. And what this does... Demonstration of Ustream producer. And most of yours are going to look like almost identical to this. The two that we do today are going to look identical except for the name. But first thing you do is, after you get into PHP, is you have this jexec or die. And what this does is make sure that somebody isn't getting into this in the improper way. They've gone through Joomla to get to this file. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to be including we want this helper.php. So for um, what we have to do is this require once actually takes what's ever in the helper.php and like pastes it right in here, you can think of. So it's just got it, so we've got it right there. And once we've done that, what's in there allows us to actually do this function. Okay. So if you're not familiar with doing, um, you know, the object-oriented PHP this stuff and what it looks like, of let's producer. just look at this half of it first. It's looking at this um, class called Mod Hello World Helper, which we're going to find. You'll see it shortly in here. These little double colons say, just go out and get this as a class. Don't worry about any of those <coughs> objects. I just want the plan. I don't want to have the whole house, or I don't want to see your phone as it physically exists. I just want to see the plans. And on there, it's going to have this get hello function. And it's going to send this it the parameters. And those parameters with those, producer. The, you know, those things on the left side there that we defined in the config section, it's going to send all the answers for that, telling you to just go in and get this information. And when it gets that information, it's then going to put what it gets from there into this field called dollar hello. Right? 
So then what it's going to do is it's going to also go and get the module class suffix that it has. Again, that's one of those parameters. And it's going to put it in the module this class is a suffix. Demonstration of then what's producer. going to happen is we're going to do another one of those requires where we're going to, this is just the, the statement that's used that goes down to the library and it's going to be getting this, doing the, the get layout path for mod hello world and this is what's actually going to go off and do the view. So you've got your controller here, it's gone off, it's got its data and then it's going to go and display. Okay, so that's all you have to do. You get the data this is a and you display. So this of is the one that does producer. the work of kind of the traffic cop doing that. So let's look at that, that top one there, the helper. So you have the first part's looking familiar now because you've got your PHP and your, your JXEC or die. Then you have your class. This again, this is that blueprint that we have. So it's always going to be, um, well, actually here it doesn't have to be because we're defining it, but whatever. The way you want to do it <laughs> is you've this got is a demonstration mod of hello Ustream producer world, just the, you know, the, the, um, the, the name of, that we were using, and then we've got helper at the end of it. And then we're defining in here, the only thing we're defining is this one function called um, get hello. Okay, remember that in the, in the earlier one, we used that right here. We said, get this mod hello world helper, and I want get hello, and I'm passing you this information. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. That actually, um, see part of this is this is in the middle. There's a whole section of processing that happens that first when somebody hits enter on this and you're going to display this page on your website, um, it goes to the index.php file and then it gets caught into this cycle that Joomla does. And so within that, it's pulling this in and processing it. So there's there's processing that is already this happening. This is a demonstration and of Ustream producer. So these these parameters right here um, are coming from part of that. It's, it's able. Those those are the parameters that you have. And it's defined every time. Yeah, I mean th those are the those are the ones that um, when we were here, we had that that one down there. And we had different parameters. Now, in this particular case, well, you'll see in the other where we actually this have some parameters that we're really view using stream producer. for this kind of thing, where they're going to say, you know, I want to count a five, and I want them from these categories and stuff. This one's not really doing too much for that. So dollar sign params is automatically defined by the framework. Also, mm -hmm. oh, you mentioned that you see helper.php a lot mm -hmm. of modules. Um, is like, is it necessary, like, if, if we rewrote it and, like, just instead of including helper, just wrote that all in one document? Is there, this is, a is that just to, like, keep things more organized? Producer. Could we just put that all in you one could, place? You could put that all in one place. Some of the old things that you'll see have it all in here. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons, again, for separating it out is we're just moving, getting your data separate from. Yeah, that's what I mean, for, like, you know, to make it simple. But, but, it may also have to affect things in the future as okay. they evolve so you ask them. You know, yeah, this, this particular right here isn't really doing, you don't notice it's not pulling in any other classes or doing anything. This so. is a demonstration um, of Ustream producer. So here's the, so back to the helper again. So we've just got this, this function here and we're bringing in again the params of the already and what we want to do is we want to go and get the user's name. Um, and remember I said when I showed you the first one that we were going to do hello world if we didn't have a name, or we're going to say hello whatever your name is if, if, you, if you logged in. This is a demonstration and I'm not having to go to get producer. in the database or anything because this is part of the whole authentication that Joomla already has. It knows who's logged in, it's in the session, whatever. So we just we just have to go out and get that information from where Joomla happens to have it stored as it's processing. So this is the way you actually do it. Um, JFactory, it, 
you don't have to be too concerned about that, but that's just one of the ways that the library goes that when you need to get the information. And it's going this to... This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. User, putting it over here, and then once it actually has the user, because it goes out and it knows who the user is, so it's able to create this object in order that, that matches the user that's actually signed on, you'll be able to do this function, this, this um, dash arrow is how you say, I, I'm an object here, and I want to go get a function, and you, I want you to do this with this parenthesis. So it's saying, go get and this get me the demonstration name. of okay. Ustream producer. And put it right over here into username. And then what I'm doing is I'm looking and saying, if there's a username, because if they weren't signed on, there's not going to be a username in here, then just put world in that instead. All right? So then what I want to do is I want to do hello, comma, space. I'm going to concatenate whatever I have, which will be either world or, in this case, Andy Tar. And then I'm going to return the greeting. And for, for those of you who don't really know the PHP, return the means, let's go back to where we were and pass this information. So that when we, again, go back here, Um, what is in dollar hello now is either hello comma world or it's hello comma Andy Tarr. Okay. So then you'll notice the next thing we're doing here is we're getting this layout path. And what that thing is going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to deal with the whole thing of, of trying to figure producer. out um, you know, which template are you using, which layout are you using, all of that kind of stuff is processing. Um, are you using the core or are you doing an override? And when it does, it will then go, in this particular case, since we don't have an override, now if you would put an override into your template file, we'd want to go over there and see what you were doing. But in this case, no, you didn't. Um, this is a demonstration all this of you stream producer. Very simple here. You do the, the, the JXEC or die. And then I'm just saying, echo out, hello. Okay. So this is remember hello, which we was passed through there. We did that. All this is, all this has is, um, hello world or Andy Tar, hello Andy Tar, and then it's just echoing it on the screen. So let's just wander back real quick to the beginning here. This is a demonstration of and Ustream producer. Remember on the XML file, here's this alternative layout and the module class suffix and the caching and the cache time. Those were those four things that were under the advanced options. Okay? Um, this is all done at this point entirely from the standard Joomla automatically. And then again, this is, this is what it looks like when it's actually done, was the Hello, this is a demonstration of Any Ustream on that producer. Any questions one that's actually doing databases? Okay, yes. I have a question regarding the XML. Yeah. Do you mind? Oh. Uh, you mentioned um, version. Version. 1.7. Yes. If, if I put 1.9 there, does that mean that it wouldn't work 1.7 or vice versa? Um, if, I'm not sure what the exact state is. I think it will not, I think it won't This install. is a demonstration of Ustream uh, producer. I'm not sure that it wouldn't work. In other words, if you're trying to go through the install, um, I could be wrong on this. I think it's a minimum version. It's a minimum version? Oh, no. Okay. I, I think when you're, if you're looking at plugins or your modules specific compatibility, yeah. and you'll see if it's all from a compatibility. But I'm I, just not sure if it should it check it only at install or when it tries to run. I think, I think only an install. Is, so if you install. if you just copy the, the folders in there, and then and then this is a demonstration manually of have Ustream put the, producer. Um, what, what you know what you need to in the in the database, then um, it would try. But the install pops in. Maybe just while I run. 
Well, you, just we'll, lie, yeah. What it's doing is controlling what language that you use. For example, a new construct called JFORM doesn't exist prior to um, right. the current version. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's. It, so it, so it, if you try to install, use. They're trying to install the JFORM. I mean, actually. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Yeah. And, but that actually, a lot of things will work. Yeah. It's just the JFORM. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a contact list. And I'm using it in this sense where I am going to list a series of branches, is what I'm going to call it. It's just using it's the contact list. Of it's only producer. branches because, hey, when I created that instance of the module, I called it branches and made that title. And then we're going to just tell it to list out the, the, uh, the name and address. Um, for those particular branches, okay? If we look at it in the back end, what it looks like here is this is in um, contact, com contact is, is the actual this is a demonstration um, of Ustream producer. component that we're in. And we're looking for these categories. I'm, uh, right now we're in the module piece of it. But the categories that we're referring to here right now are the categories in com content, which I happen to have set up right now as being, you know, retail elect with electrical and lighting underneath it, and then also a warehouse. And you could set this module up. This is a multi-select to say I just want to see the branches that are just the warehouse, or I just want to see the electrical. I want to just see all this the retail. Is a demonstration and not, of Ustream not the, producer. Uh, the warehouse. And then you could actually. Um, put just the number of contacts that you want. Let's say I only want to display one because it's going to go on that one page, um, or I just put 10 in so it displays them all. And under here, you'll see that that's a basic option. Under here are the advanced options, and those are going to have the same options that we had as in the other um, module. So the file structure is going to look very similar here. This is a demonstration one thing that of Ustream producer. Different. Now I'm walking in front of that light. Um, is the language. I'm going to show you how to work this so that you actually are using the, um, the language so that you can have language packs and things in here so that you can have it in the other languages. You'll notice that what you have, oh, I didn't go down quite enough here. Did I? Okay. You have the language. And then underneath this, you'll have folders that will have each of the this languages in it. And then within that, producer. you'll have the files that belong to that particular um, language. language, but that particular component in the, in the language. And I'll show you those on the XML file. No, I'll show you that at the very end, I guess. And then again, you've got the same mod con contact list and the mod contact list, the PHP and the XML and our familiar old default.php. So you can kind of see a theme happening here. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. All right, so here's the mod underscore com contact underscore list. Where I've got the arrows are basically about the only difference you're going to see on here, other than a little, uh, you know, who's the author kind of thing. Up here, you'll notice I've got all this capital stuff, and all I'm saying is mod underscore contact list. I'm not make, making anything nice and pretty. That's because this is a key that I'm going to be finding in the language file. The same with the description. Instead of doing the description here, this is a that's in the language of file. Ustream producer. And then here I've added the folder for the language file. Other than that, this is the same so far as, as our earlier one. Now as we go down and we get into the config, you'll notice that now what we have is we've got a field set called basic, all right? And within this, here's our category, right? You can see the type is category. So this is, has all the hooks. It's going to hook right into um, the whole category functionality. Of Ustream producer. And I'm telling what extension to use. I'm saying use the category for com contact, all right? I'm doing this module. This this has nothing to do with com contact. I mean, I'm writing this module. 
but I can go in on this is how I can access com contacts extensions if I wanted to do it for web links I do com web links if I wanted the regular ones for com content you know the articles in those categories I can com um, content in there and I can grab those this is a demonstration of Ustream um, producer. And at this point, I'm grabbing the labels that already exist. This J category is not going to be in mine because that's the standard one that is within um, Joomla itself already. And here, I'm grabbing um, my own that I created. And what you want to do is start it with your name, the mod underscore contact underscore list, and then the individual part of your key. That makes sure that you won't bump into anybody else's because nobody else is going to have your same name. This Down is here, um, that would be type producer. category. This one is a type text. And all this is going to be is a count. This is how many I want to show. And I'm going to start with a default of five, which can be changed in there. You notice I had changed it to ten in the instance that I had there. And again, here's the label and the description that are going to be coming out of our language files. And then I end the field set. So this is the field set for basic. That's those basic options. And then we'll see something that looks very familiar. This again is. This is a demonstration of your Here's all that producer. same information that we pulled from the other one. And to finish it off with the, uh, the rest of those fields. Okay? So that's our package file. Very similar to the one that we had done before. Now we'll go back and go into our controller thing here, which is the mod contact list.php. And remember, this is the one where we get the data, or we ask for the data to get it, and then we um, send it out to this tell a demonstration the of view stream it, producer. Um, it displays the view on it. So we start with our JEXEC. Again, we require once on our helper file. We go, we grab this, this helper class here with the get list with our same parameters is just identical. This I happen to call list instead of uh, what I call the hello or something. Doesn't really matter. And then I'm getting that same line to get the suffix. Now if you ever have a module that doesn't do the suffix, this have you ever come across that and you just, I want to style producer. that and those, those people that wrote that module just never put it in there. That's what they never bothered to do. They didn't put this in here and they didn't have that other little code that lets you use it. Okay, so then I do the same thing here where I'm doing the J module helper. And notice this is nothing to do with contact or hello world or anything. This is, this is a standard one that's just in the Joomla system. Doing the get layout path, saying I'm doing it for this mod contact list. So here's the helper file that gets the data. A stream producer. Just like in the other one, we start with the J exec or die. And on the other one, we started immediately with the class. Here we've got these two other things we need to bring in. And we need to bring these in because we're going to be working with the models that are set up in those other components. Now, if those components had not been set up using the proper um, MVC structure, then we probably have to deal with it differently. This is, this is set up so that it works really nicely this is a with the MVC structure. Of Ustream producer. So we're going to import, this is like a require once, we're going to import all this information from the Joomla folder, those libraries, under the applications, the content, the component model. So this gives us all those plans, all those classes um, that happen within there and gives us access to them. And then what we're going to do is we say, we also want to have the You'll see this JPath administrator. This is a that demonstration is saying, of Ustream you know, producer. We're working in the component section right now, which is the front end, but we have that administrator path at the top that then duplicates all of this stuff where it's got its, its components and its um, modules and all that sort of stuff. So we want to get that component from the back end for com contact because that's where all the models are for com, or com contact. So we're saying, under the J administrator, let's go to the components folder. Under com contact, there's going to be a folder there this called models. Demonstration of Ustream and producer. Then within that um, file, I'm sorry, where am I going here? Um, yeah, we we want to get this contact model. Okay, that's going to be. Uh, 
that, that's part of the class that will help us know what we have to do. That's the piece that it needs in order to construct the class name in order to get us the information. So then we go and we start our class. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. This little piece of code here is what lets us go and work with the database. So the J factory gets the database object, puts it into here, and then we want to get the model that will have all the information for us. So we're going to get an instance. This is a demonstration. We want to make one of these models producer. up from these, these plans. And we want it to be in contact with the contact model. This little thing right here, you can just sort of put that in in this case. What, what that is, is have you ever had a form where you're filling it out and you make an error and it comes back and gives, tells you you made an error and then everything's blank because they blanked it all out? Yeah. Okay. So, in order to, what this they do in Joomla is they save the producer. state, they save what is actually on the page, and then they go and do the processing, and then if there's an error or something happens, they save what you had actually put in, and then go and put it back into the page. Um, because once you've left that page and have started off that processing, and then you redirect and you're trying to display again, you know, the, the server doesn't know who you are. They don't, they don't relate to who you were before. So we have to save that information. And what this is, it's this is basically saying, of the don't bother producer. to save that stuff. So if you've already saved it somewhere else, this is not going to overlay it. So that if you've got, you know, you've got your page here that's going out. Um, let's say it's on the com contact page. And it's saved all the state and it's got it all nice. And then you go over here and you've got this little module that's doing something, and it creams it and puts in this information because that's part of what happens when you do this is it starts dealing with the state and making changes. So by putting that in there, it this saves the demonstration. It says, I'm going to do this, producer. but don't let this disturb anything that you might have done with saving all those pages. So you don't really have to know what that does or anything like that. Just know that if you're doing one of these little things, that's a good thing to know. All right, so then what we're going to do is, here's where we actually are, are um, doing some of the, the, the parameter stuff to get those states again. We're going to be this is doing the filtering. of Ustream it, Producer. We're going to be wanting to come down and do a database um, call on this to get the information that we need. The way that Joomla does that is, you do not put the actual database stuff here. You're just passing it information, and then it's going to build that off. So that if you had a database query that was going to be, you know, um, select from, this is just pseudocode, so, you know, select from uh, Josh underscore of Ustream producer. contact, you know, these fields where um, category ID is equal to 22. You know, limit five or something like that. Instead of you writing that out here, like it would be to pass to um, MySQL, you're creating this object that just has a where clause that has all the information, and it has an order by clause, and it has you know your select clause, and what, what fields you're going to want to actually bring back into it. And all this that is sort a of demonstration of so you stream all you're doing producer. Is you're just building all this stuff. Um, where are you going to start and stop it? Are you going to, what kind of filters are you going to have? Do you want only if they're published or they're not published or all of them? What are the fields you want to have that come up? So that's what this is. This is just setting the different states for these, um, the, the, the different pieces that will then be used to actually come up and create the, um, the statement. This and where this works out well is you stream producer. Display. We're able to uh, be getting to the point where you might not run this on MySQL. You might be able to run this on, on um, you know, the Microsoft uh, MS SQL or 
um, PostGrev or something, some other version of it, um, because you're not using specifically MySQL commands, so that where we've got it, you could end it up in your configuration. It could say you're using MySQL, you're demonstration using of UStream well. producer. And so at the point at which we go out to actually turn this into an actual command, it could look and say, oh, which one are they using? Oh, they're using MySQL. Okay, go off and do this way. Oh, they're using MSSQL. Oh, do it this way instead. So if you go and you just go and put a, a MySQL statement in here and then somebody tries to run this on something that's using MSSQL, it could, it could blow up. Okay. Oh, so. Okay, okay. Now, these are just some more this is a of that same kind of, of thing. Stream producer. Uh, We've got the language. Are we filtering on language? Do we care which language it is? Do we just want the German one to come? Or do we just want anything we get? Uh, and are we doing it based on the ordering? Um, what field are we going to use to order it by? And do we want it ascending or descending? And you wouldn't necessarily have to fill all of these in. Because if you, if you didn't, it's not, going to, it's not going to use those. This is a demonstration um, of yeah. Ustream producer. Notice I'm getting duplicates on some of this stuff here. Um, and then what it does at the very end, it's going to go off and the model is telling the model. Now remember that model. We need a clicker. Uh, where was our model? I'm going back even further. Get instance. Ah, here. This is a demonstration this of This is the object producer. model that was created here, that get instance. Okay? So this is the one that is created. This is in the contacts. That's the class that it was used. And we could actually jump out to there if you want. I'm not sure what kind of time I have. Um, uh, just only 25 minutes. Oh, oh he is not nice. Okay. okay. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Right <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I guess maybe I better. Uh oh. Come on back. There you go. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> nice try, though. Nice try. It would have been nice. Okay. Well, I can do it here. I'm just. <laughs> Okay, so we, we, we saw where that model, the model was where we got that. And we're going to do the get items method off of there. And that's going to come this back and return these items. Of Ustream producer. Um, and then we will send these items back out. Now before, what this whole thing does, it did on our first one is it just figured out hello world or hello Andy talk. And this one has gone out, has gone out to the database. It's used the processing that has already been set up in somebody else's component. And it's just clicking in and actually using that piece. Now, what you could do in here is you could actually say, oh, I want that piece of information from ConContact. And you could re write the, 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 the MySQL demonstration or the MySQL of stream stuff producer. and go out right to the database and get it, pop it in here and send it, and the whole thing would work. But this is the way you, you sort of want to do it to, to, to make it fit in the, the Joomla way, assuming that where you're getting it from also works with the Joomla thing. You're already leveraging um, the processing that they have already put in place. But what you really want to do in this helper is this is where you're getting your data that you're going to display. So now that we've got that data, remember we go back to our original guide here, um, where we have this a place a where we get our data. Have you stream producer. Yeah, we get our data, now we display. So that display is going to go into that Temporal file, assuming we haven't overridden it somewhere, it's going to go somewhere else. Again, we always start with a JXEC or die. And then this is just the HTML, however you want to do it. This is very, very plain and simple. I, here's, you know, echoing out that little thing here. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if I did that this on the Hello World. Okay, of Ustream did producer. I, okay. And, um, then I've just got this little for each loop. So it says, as I go through this list, remember that, that list was what was um, sent to me on that, that last statement. 
that's an, that has an array of, uh, I think I forget offhand if that was an array or, or, or an object, but basically it has a list of things, and as you go through each this one, a demonstration uh, of it's going to do producer. this for each, calling it item. So if I have this list of 10 things, as it's going through here, it's going to do all this for number one, and it's going to go back and do it for number two, and go back and do it for number three, etc. And so all it's going to do is it's going to do for H4, let's send out the name, see that's dollar item, dash name that's bringing, okay, this is a, a, an object, so it's bringing just the properties, that's the property called name here, and here it's bringing the address, this is it's a bringing demonstration the suburb, the of state, Ustream producer. the zip, and the telephone, and I've just got that in a P and I'm doing the BRs. Um, so if I were actually to, let me just grab one other thing here, I'll tab, oh, and then here, This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. <laughs> You'll notice that I do a lot with Joomla when you get in here, and I really should clean it out. But... Wow. <laughs> it's impressive. Wow. It's called a result desk. Okay. Um, but if we go into this comp, uh, come contact details. I'm just going to go into the structure here for a second. You see, here's our ad our name, our address, this our suburb, our state, of Ustream and our producer. And I'll just browse it, and you can see here's the name is Oneonta. Here's our address, etc. So that's where that's coming from. Is right from that com contact details. Okay. And then it just it just ends up. Now the one piece that we haven't seen here that's different is is just the language files, and these are the ones that this is a um, demonstration when I did the little file structure, I producer. forgot to explode that out so you could really see them. So you've got the the language, and under that you've got that it's the um, Great Britain English, and then within that you have the one for this particular. Um, module, and you're going to have two of them in there. One is the main one that you're going to use, which will always be in a certain format. It's going to start with the, 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 the EN-GB for the basic um, Great Britain English, and then an underscore, a demonstration and then the name of, of your module, so producer. my underscore, contact underscore, list, and it'll be dot any. And that's where you're going to have most of your stuff in there. You're also going to have one that's just like that, except that it is sys.ini, and that's just used for um, certain parts in the, in the back end with the install and stuff. But the main one is, is, is this particular one right here. And all this is, this is being read as the JSON. This is a demonstration it's got the, the of the mod so this is going to be matching exactly what it is, and then it has what is going to be displayed instead within the double quotes here. Was it? This is just exactly like a defined file. Yeah, it's real basic. Um, so then, if we just go back, let's look again at what we had from the beginning here. So again, this, this is, is what it looked like when we were setting it up. Producer. So here are our basic options. That category type we had here is automatically going to create this and have a multi-select and stuff. And the number of contacts, that was the one that we had in there with the default of five, and I changed it to 10. And again, all this stuff is automatic, and what's underneath here are those other four or five fields that we um, just brought in. And then, again, this is what we had as to what it, it, it looked like with the, you know, the H4, the name up here, and then the Ustream address producer. coming down and showing it like that. Any questions on this particular type of module? Or did I just say? <laughs> okay. All right. How would you put that in the 
How would I, I'm sorry, didn't I? How would you put, 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 this is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Oh, 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 oh if you, that is, that's just a copy I made. If, um, if I go... Also, I'm going to pack it up. Yeah, okay. It's very easy. Um, I'll show you. Oh, come on. Where are you? There, okay. Just maximize the browser, yeah. <laughs> there, no, that no, gets it. No, no. Finally, okay. This is a demonstration. All I did is when I was copying to show producer. it, is I, I just said, show me that. Um, but it, this actually is um, over on one side or the other. So you, you could use like the load position plugin, put it in an article. Like, if you wanted to, right, yeah. I was just displaying in position six, I think, which is what that is. So it, it just looked like it was in the middle, but if you did want to put it in the middle, yeah, use a load position or a load uh, module. Yeah, um, and if you want to pack it up, um, this is a which is exactly what I've got on the download producer. thing, all you have to do is zip it. This isn't one that you have to move anything funny like you do for a component. Good question, that one part on the right hand side with the basic um, on the actual admin page, mm -hmm. you had like the lighting or the warehouse, is that, how is that used? Okay, what I can do is, is you'll notice um, you'll notice on here I have all of these coming up, okay? If I go into the administration here. This is a demonstration of Ustream <laughs> Producer. What is this doing here? You, you, just have to, you just have to maximize. <laughs> no, no, click on the left side on, on the button to maximize the browser. On, on the left side of the yeah, then, the and, then just, and then just make it nice. To no, on the left side. Yeah, I know. I have to get to the left. The green one. one. The green one. And then everything's fine. Okay, and then everything will be. And then. Fine. And then I bigger. Can go this then way. you have to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll do that again, and then okay. All right. So. Um, this let's, is I go into the branches of Ustream producer. And let's say I just want to look at. Just give me the warehouse one. So I just click on just that one, and I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. And now I come back here again, and I reload it. And now you can see Oneonta is gone, and all I've got in Belchertown, right over on that one. OK, then if you wanted the user to be able to select that from the page, would that be the advanced option? Oh, if you wanted to do that, then you'd have to do it differently. Right, because then you would need a form on the front end. This is a demonstration a drop down of or something. What this producer. is for is, is just if you wanted to display it someplace. Um, Right, it would be branches yeah. for another. This is the section where you've got your warehouses. Yeah. And they actually know how you tell to put default PHP under TMLP, TMPL. Well, the default, it's it's doing, it's using default as the view name, you mean? Yeah, if you put views, let's say you have more than one template. This how would you demonstration tell to put a view stream producer under that directory? When you do an install, so it has to create the directories. Well, all you would do at that point is, is how you create it. Like, I created it. Um, here's your, uh, I just have this, oh. I don't know, if, I don't know that you can, this is, the te this is a, mo a module. I don't know if modules could have multiple views. Or you would have, you could have multiple layouts. It doesn't have multiple demonstration views. of Ustream producer. Is a layout, yeah, yeah. But you have a place where you can say the name, so you could specifically say, "Oh, you could have multiple layouts." But how does it, how does it know to put the full PHP underneath the T, TMPL directory? The manifest says to move the entire yeah. directory. Yeah, right, right, right. Because right, I did folder. Okay, okay, I see. That was in the directory. Yeah. If if I go back to. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. If we go to, you'll notice these all say file name. Right. That says folder. All right, so if it takes all, everything above it and puts it into that. No, anything that is in TMPL, right. 
it will put, it'll, it'll copy. It'll make a folder. Default is, under, is within that, it's nested okay. in that. Right, so if I want this folder, it's gonna get the folder and all the files this that are in that folder. This is a of Ustream producer. No, you don't, right, right. Because this folder just copies everything within that. And like folder, this one, that, all I'm doing is saying folder language, but it knows to copy the, the en-gb folder, and within that, the two files that are in there. Okay. Yeah. If they fix it now in the folder, when they do an uninstall, it will pull the files. Historically, I've run into problems doing folder if you don't specify all the file names inside the this folder. This is a demonstration you know, of Ustream right right Producer. Yeah. Is, is that my 10 minute warning bell? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I haven't run into that issue. I'd, I'd have to look and see if that's still a problem. It's always it's always deleted all of them when I've done it. So. Yeah. In mm -hmm. one point five, um, didn't it like move the language files into the language folder? The, uh, is yeah, this different? Uh, yeah, this is okay. different. There, there's that way still exists. Uh -huh. um, but doing it this is now an option. Ustream producer. And by doing it this way, you're sort of keeping everything within itself. nice and neat and within yourself. Okay. So you'd still be able to have it. At, rather than having it under files, you have a thing that's called language and have it there, and then it would go in and it would install that's those in the language. About. That's what okay, because sometimes it's okay. nice to look at the language folder and see everything in there. Right, yeah. That that way is still um, still available. Could you have it go to both? Yes. I think it. Because you can have it there and then showing it. Showing of it here, Ustream but producer. Because then, okay. so then if there are different on it, them. It's a lot needed to keep it under the module. Yeah. And just like one generalized folder. Yeah. Yeah, when you put it both locations, one will always win the other. Yeah, and I don't remember which one wins. Oh, okay. I, my guess is that the one that would win is in the module, but yeah. I don't know off the answer. Yeah, because templates override by having it within their template. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I don't, I don't know how it The module is the last to load, so. Yeah, both the language files, so type I'd, have to, I'd have to test it to see which way it works. This and is a demonstration of Ustream uh, Producer. Uh, uh, yeah. Right, right, okay. So the, the only last thing I have as I ask for questions is here are just a couple of resources on doing programming in general. Um, and you probably can't read it from there, but um, I'm sure they're going to put these up someplace, yeah. So I'll have to give you a copy of it. Um, there's not a lot out there for 1.7. Um, everybody's thrilled that Joe LeBlanc just finally came out and got one on Linda.com. So, um, so that's really great. It costs 25 bucks or something for a month. And you can go in and, and, and get it there if you don't do it. I've actually had a, a yearly subscription to that for about three or four years now. I just love it. Um, Mark Dexter is coming out with a book on it, though it may not be until 2012. Maybe it'll be earlier. Well, will they be up to like 2.0 by then? Yeah, it'll be 2.5 will be out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mark's is in progress. Mark can listen to what you did. This is a demonstration oh, you can get of the first, Ustream you can Producer. Get the first spot, six pages. No, no, no. Rough cuts. It's on Rough Cuts. You can buy the online and then you get the okay. Safari now, which Rough Cuts, which means it's not fully spread, but then Okay, so you can get that so, under Rough Cuts, the Rough Cuts version of it, under Safari? Yeah, Safari, that's the other Okay, I'll try, to, I'll try to get that and add it in here so it's Amazon, nice. there's flyers out there from Juno Press out in the main. Okay. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. Okay, I'm and just, then... <laughs> I'm just writing a beginner's guide for developers. It's ready in three weeks for 1.7. Okay, give, give me that and I'll stick it on here when I put it yeah. up. Um, and then there's the on, some online documentation, which you know, kind of has the hello world. And that's about it. But, um, and then we got my book. I'll just play that real quick. Yay! I got I got these in the mail on on Thursday, the day before I came down here. So this, this is not is a Joomla book, but a for those of you, producer. it's written for people who know HTML and CSS and want to know something about PHP, but have never done programming before. And I do get to the point where, you know, I'm explaining the object-oriented stuff and all of that. So you can get to a point where you know enough PHP in order to do this kind of stuff. So, oh, it's rocks, yeah. 
Amazon's got it, and uh, you can do an ebook and Barnes and Noble and all those guys. So just had to show that. This is a demonstration of okay. extreme okay. producer. So, um, are there any questions? I think we've probably got at least another five minutes of chat. I have a question. I kind of loosely released this, but not really. That's okay. Um, now, I noticed you use the extension tag in the uh, XML file. Yes. And not the install tag. Yes. Do I understand the install tag is appreciated? Yes. It still works in 1.7. Yes. Do you know when it will be officially removed and not this is a demonstration of Ustream producer. I think it's still good in 2.5. And then when we start doing the release three, um, series three, that would be. We're, we're not trying to, if you, if you can get something that works in 1.6, 1.7, we're not going to make it not work in 2.5. Okay. How's that? I would say that much. So is it 2.5? Is it 2.0? Okay, this is what this is. A stream producer. Okay. Let me do it this way. We had the first series, which was 1.0, okay? Then we had another series that was that one, right? And then we started going to 1.6. And what we did here is this is basically that's that series. You can think of that as the you know, like the two series. Okay? It's sort of, of funny. Stream this producer. was originally going to be 1.8. But that's so that we can then get really pretty. And the next one we're going to be doing is like that. It's just going to be the three series. It's going to be all threes. Three dot X. Just like this should have been. 2.x and that should have been 2.0 and that should have been 2.1. Okay? So if you just say, oh, they misnamed <laughs> 1.6 and they misnamed 1.7, those really should have been 2.0 and 2.1. Because you would think going from 1.5 to 1.6, you're not going to have a huge big thing, right? <laughs> and it was a huge big thing. That should have been named 2.0. So just think about it as, as, as those should have been 2.0 and 2.1, and now we're going into 2.5. Then when we start our next grouping, our next series, that's going to be the 3x series. This was the 2x series with a misnamed beginning. And 2.5. 2.5 is coming out in January. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. January. Wow. <laughs> I'm just getting to learn 1.7. No, this will be, this is the same. Okay. Not, yeah. Different numbers. Remember, this is really 2.1. Okay. It'll be just like an upgrade. It'll be just like an upgrade. It'll be, like upgrade. It'll like be the upgrade. same as going from 1.6 to 1.7. It's a 1.0. It's a 1.0. It's a 1.0 upgrade. Okay. Okay. And then that's 2.5 is the last thing. Well, well, no, two, this is 2.5, it's in January. It's, it's just to have confusion, so it's, it's baby. <laughs> the, the three series is going to start in July. That's close. Yeah, but this 2.5, that's going to be around for 18 months. And what is the big enhancements from the 2.x series to 3.x? The, um, what is the, talking about after? Yeah, we're talking about that, um, <laughs> Ah, we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we're all excited. Yeah. Is it every, every one before release going to be a dot five? Is that right? This is a demonstration yeah, and, and of that's just a, if you producer. Think before getting into that being a dot five, if you just sort of think about as what you've got is, you know, you've got, you've got 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and then you have the 3.0, and then you have a 4.0, and then you have a 5.0. What they, just, what they just decided was, because we had this, this 1.5 that was so big, everybody knew, let's just do it so that, that we remember that we know that the 1.5 is the real one. This is and that these early are kind of the early producer. while we're getting used to it kind of versions. But it's, you know, it's not a big deal, really. Well, it, actually, in some ways it is. The trouble is, is our customers... They don't see it that way. Well, okay, well that's where the big deal is, is that once, if we had called 1.6 2.0, 
and you, your customer is going from 2.0 to 2.1 to 2.5 as one click updates, that's no big deal. You're writing a book for 2.0, the Ustream series. Yep. It'll go all the way through here for you know for two years, and and it's 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 not an issue. That's what's going to be going on with the three point series. You'll have a three point series going this long time. You won't see the division that oh here's 1.6 and here's 1.7 and here's the next thing. That's the three point series. So they're just going to get back on the rails. It's it's sort of yeah. And so the fact that this is a 1.5 as opposed to a 1. 3 or 1.4, you know, what that extra number is, it's no big deal. It's the, that first number is what of the well, stream first, producer. First number is the major number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elon. Oh, I just want to say, so the point, point 0.5 for the Joomla ecosystem is a great grant. Yeah. 1.5 is a great grant. Those of us who came from Mongo know that 4.5 is a great grant. So 0.5 is a great well-known grant. Well, as it's our lucky charm number. Yeah, it's our lucky charm number. It's a very logical move. And so in fact, this is the customers know. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Yeah, because you can bring customers. It's only your new customers in the intermediary periods between when 2.5 comes out and 3.5 comes out. You'll have to decide, do I keep them on a 2.5 or do I keep them on a 3.5? And most likely, just like with this series, between two point, between 3.0 and 3.1, mm -hmm. a lot of people are not going to be putting their customers on that because there's not going to be This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. UI, just like we did from 1.6 to 1.7. And once we got to 1.7, which would be like 3.1, then people will start putting their customers on 3.1. Yeah. So, and then finally your 2.5 customers, you'll know, and they'll know, and you need to tell, you know, when you build a site for a customer, you say, look, well, every 18 months or so, we're going to update to the next version from 1.5 to 2.5 to 2.5 to 3.5. So, 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 so basically the, the way that it's working producer. is we're moving more towards a series number, and we're trying to do away with this 1.0 to 1.5 really being a major change, but not changing that major number, 1.5, 1.6, major change, but we didn't change that number, we're saying. This is a major change, let's just say, this is a major change there. Um, and so if you, it, it, the easiest way to think of it is really that 1.6 really was 0.0. Yeah. What's the plan lifespan for each of the series? Like, how long will 3.0 last? 18 months, well, is that the, right? The three, the three the series goes, of Ustream um, producer. A, a six month, six months, and 18 months. So, so that's. Thank you. Three months. Yeah. They put a client on 3.0, write it as 3.0 comes out. They've got two and a half years before they have to call. Yeah. And hopefully we can upgrade instead of migrate. Yeah, it'd be nice. But, but the, the dot zero is when we can break back to compatibility. Yes. That's yes. Right. That's where you. So when we go. To 2.5 demonstration to of 3.0. Producer. That's more likely where we're able to get in the new good stuff that we really couldn't put into here because it would break a few things. Um, but this is going to be good for a long time. This whole time where you've got you know your 3. Point, you're going to be into 3.5 for a while before 2.5 isn't any good anymore. So we're going to go through all of these things before we get away with finish with 2.5. Yeah. All right. I guess okay. we're going to have to wrap it up yep. now because they have another session going on. Demonstration so. of Ustream okay. producer. Thank so, you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's right here. So it's the, 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 right. I think they're going to open that up. And, Demonstration of new stream producer. My primary question. I was just turning them off. Not sure why people are not. Rome's rolling for us. Thank you.